Hi, I'm Alex Dunn, and welcome to another Xamarin Basics video. Today we'll look at Ad Hoc iOS Builds Part 1, Certificates and Profiles from the Apple Developer Portal. In the Apple Developer Portal, we'll need to create four major components in order to build our app for ad hoc production. The first is an app ID, followed by a production certificate, registered devices, and provisioning profiles. Let's start by clicking on Certificates, Identifiers, and Profiles. This will bring us to the page where we can manage all of these resources. Let's first create an app ID by going to the left and clicking on App IDs under Identifiers. In the top right, click the plus icon to create a new app ID. Give your app ID a name, as well as a bundle identifier, and selected app services. Scroll down to App Services, and you'll see a list of services you can select that are enabled in your application. In this case, we'll just select Push Notifications, so that our application is registered to handle APNS services. Click Register after previewing your app ID to make sure everything's correct. Now that we have our app ID, we can create a production ad hoc certificate. On the left side under Certificates, click Production, and then in the top right, click the plus icon again. Scroll down to the Production subsection and click on App Store and Ad Hoc. Clicking Continue will bring you to a page that explains how to create a certificate signing request. Click Continue and we'll be ready to upload a certificate signing request file. In order to create this, we'll need to move over to Keychain Access. From the main menu for Keychain Access, select Certificate Assistant and request a certificate from a certificate authority. Enter your email address and select Save to Disk. Click Continue and select a save location. Now we've created our certificate signing request, we can move back over to the developer portal and upload our file. Click Continue and we'll now be able to download our certificate. Click the download and then double click the certificate in order to save it to your keychain access. We've now created an app ID and a certificate. The next phase is to upload our device profiles. We can do this by selecting devices on the left and clicking the plus. In order to register a device, you'll need to name it as well as get the UDID. To learn how to get the UDID from your device, follow this blog post below. With our registered devices, certificates, and app IDs, we can create our provisioning profile that allows us to build for ad hoc. Under provisioning profiles on the left, select distribution. Click the plus icon to create a new one, and down below, select ad hoc under distribution. Clicking continue brings you to the screen where you need to select the app ID. Select the app that you just registered, and click continue. Now you'll need to select the certificate that you just created. Select it and click continue again. Now you'll need to be able to select each device that's going to be able to run the application. Applications cannot be run on just any device and in order to install your application it will need to be registered here. Select your devices and click continue. Now you'll just need to give your profile a name. Click continue and download your new provisioning profile. Download and double click. This will install the provisioning profile into Xcode. Now with this provisioning profile, you'll be able to build your applications in release mode and register an IPA file. This IPA file is what we'll be using in following videos in blog posts in order to upload builds to either Visual Studio Mobile Center or to Hockey App. Once these IPA files are uploaded, users will be able to download it on their devices as long as they're registered like we said before. Thanks for following me and learning about another Xamarin Basics on how to use profiles and certificates from the Apple Developer Portal. I'm Alex Dunn and I'll see you next time.